Welcome to this puzzle session. Here is the problem. So suppose we have a line and we have colored it with two colors, red and blue, let's say. Uh, then one wants to prove that one can find a segment of non-zero length whose endpoints and the midpoint have the same color. So the statement should be clear. And now let us look at the solution. So we have this line uh, and it has been colored by two colors each point is either red or blue and since there are infinitely many points and only two colors are used one can find two distinct points which receive the same color so let us say we have a and b such that a and b receive the same color and let us also say without loss of generality that that color is red so a and b receive the color red okay now consider the midpoint of a and b if m which is the midpoint also receives the color red, then we are done. So we may assume that it receives the color blue. Okay. And now whatever is this length, call that length L, find a point, uh, let me call it X, which is distance L apart from A on the other side and find a point Y, which is distance L away from B in the other direction from A. All right, so what about the color of X? If X also had red color, then we have this segment, you know, the segment XB, which uh, will have the property that it end points are both red and the middle point is also red. So if this gets the color red, then we are done. So we may assume that this also gets the color blue. Similarly, the same argument for Y implies that we may assume that y also gets the color blue. But then if we look at the segment x, m, y, this, this, the segment x, y with middle point m, we see that uh, it's a segment whose end point and the midpoint have the same color, namely the color blue. So no matter what happens, uh, we will be able to find a segment whose end point and the midpoint have the same color and that's it. That's the proof. And let me just leave you with an exercise. Replace line, <coughs> replace line by integers in the problem. So what do I mean? So instead of coloring the line, just color the integers. The integers are 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on and also in the other direction, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So we have been given a coloring of the set of all integers uh, with two colors, red or blue. And we want to show that you can find two integers uh, whose midpoint is also an integer and uh, with the property that the endpoints, meaning the two integers and the, and the middle integer all have the same color. So instead of coloring a continuum, we are coloring the set of integers. Uh, it's the same reasoning that you can export here with a little bit more care because you can't just start with, let's say, the points one and two and talk about the midpoint because the midpoint is not an integer. Okay, so that's the uh, that's a nice variation of the problem. And then once we have done it for integers, one should also try for natural numbers. It is true for natural numbers also. It's not important to even include the negative ones. So that is an interesting variant. And with that, I want to end this. As usual, like, comment, share, subscribe. I also have Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.